Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for November 25th of 2025 is titled Comet Lemon and the Milky Way. So what do we see here? Well, here we see Comet Lemon, which was one of the nicer comets of 2025 and was to the point visible barely with the unaided eye, although very nicely visible in photographs or by using a telescope or binoculars to be able to pick up the detail. Wider field images like this would allow you to see far more detail in the tails, and we can see those two tails stretching back. The blue ion tail, with its erratic nature off to the very tip of it, up towards the, heading towards the top of the image, and that is affected by variance in the solar wind, which pushes the tail back. So you can kind of see when there were more storms present as the energy from the solar wind traveled out and pushed that material back. Now, a little further to the right, we see the dust tail. Now, the dust tail curves. It's slightly larger particles than the individual atoms and ions in the ion tail, and it curves backward left behind by the motion of the comet. Now, it's not the only astronomical object visible here. We also see mountains here, part of the Himalayan mountains on Earth. And up in the sky, at an even greater distance than the comet, we see our Milky Way galaxy off to the left. And within that, we can see the bright star clouds and dark dust clouds of the Milky Way. So, when we look here, we're seeing three objects at varying distances. We do see the Himalayan mountains right here with us on planet Earth. Uh, we see the comet up in the sky. The comet is part of our solar system, but well away from Earth. So, it is much farther away than the Himalayan mountains. And then, at an even greater distance, we see our Milky Way. Now, when we look off in the distance there, we're seeing distant parts of the Milky Way, that is the distant plane of our galaxy. All of the stars that we see in the sky are part of our Milky Way as well. They tend to be the more nearby stars that we're seeing things within a thousand or so light years, but when we start getting to tens of thousands of light years away, the light of those stars all just smears together and we see it as that milky patch going across the sky. And here we see some of that, but in much greater detail in the longer exposure image. Now, Comet Lemon is now fading, heading back out toward the outer part of the solar system. And with each pass a comet makes closer to the sun, it slowly erodes as some of its material is lost. The same thing happens to the mountains. The Himalayan mountains are relatively young, but are slowly eroding, and over hundreds of millions of years will slowly erode away, just as other mountains on Earth have. The Milky Way will, of course, continue its journey onward, forming more comets and mountains within various solar systems around the many billions of stars that make up our galaxy. So that was our picture of the day for November 25th of 2025. It was titled Comet Lemon and the Milky Way. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Huge Ball of Stars. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then... Have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.